only one world. Of course, actually, there are many, many worlds. But there's only one world that we can do very much about at the moment. Our world. And the way to make our world one world, that is to say, a world that is united, a world that is at peace, the world, a world that is based on friendship, equality, understanding. The way to a world like that is certainly education. We learn very early on in our lives what to value and what to strive after. That is why education is so important, especially early education. That is why the work of only one world is so important. Providing them with an education will enable them to find a place for themselves in this world, a place from which they can help others even as they help themselves. If we do not educate our children, or if we only educate those who can afford education, ours will be an unbalanced world. It will not be only one world, it will be two worlds, one belonging to the privileged and one belonging belonging to the underprivileged. So let us try to give the privilege of education to all children. In fact, that's exactly what you're doing. So we would like to commend your efforts, to encourage you to continue, and to help us all to join in with you in creating a world in which all children are educated, all children are prepared to face the challenges that life hurls at them. I see only one world as an international venture. There are so many Japanese interested in what is going on in Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka is very close to Burma. And Burma has many ties with Japan. And so it goes on and on. The ties between the countries of this world are many. And yet, I don't think we can say that we have been so far able to create only one world. That is still something after which we have to aspire, something that we have to try to achieve, to realize. So I wish this venture all success. I hope that the work of only one world will bear fruit soon and that children from all over the world will be provided with the education they need.